We are back in our study of the book of James as we examine this idea that we're being tempted by God. James tells us that God does not tempt anyone because he is not tempted by evil himself. So let's look at this idea. The first thing we have in our minds is sometimes we feel like we're on the auction block, that we are for sale, that God is taking out all of the circumstances of our life and just proving how crazy we are as humans and how quickly we can be drawn away from him. Are we for sale? Is God trying to tempt us? Is he digging these great big holes and dropping prizes down at the bottom in hopes that he will catch us straying from him? Well, James tells us that that is not the case. So what really is happening here? What's going on with us? What's going on with me and you? James tells us that what happens is we begin to be drawn away by the thoughts of our minds. In other words, we begin to dwell on certain things. We begin to spend our time thinking about the things that we want out of life. It may be things that don't look so bad on the surface, but as they consume us, they begin to prove how bad and how shallow they actually are. Because once we have one, we usually want another. And once we get another, we want another. I mean, the old question is, how much is enough? And the answer is always just a little bit more. So what do our lives look like when we begin to seek after that more? What do we feel like when we begin to pursue and get those things that we have had and dwelled on in our minds? What do we do? We make a checklist. We decide how we want our lives to look. And then we begin to try to perform those things. And here, once again, we find that once we get one thing, we've got to have another one. And once we get another, we have to have another and then it keeps going on and on and on. Because James tells us that this gives birth to sin, the consumption that is only for self. And once sin gives birth, then comes death. What happens in our lives when we allow ourselves to be consumed by our desires is we morph into this person, this being that is completely selfish in nature. But see, God's plan for his people is to give us this gift, this new thing, this new birth, this new life. He calls it the first fruits. And in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 19, he says this, See, I am doing a new thing. You and I are not tempted by God, but rather we find ourselves drawn away by our own desires. Let's keep our focus on Him and the things that He is making new in our lives and around us.